okay this video is the second video which is part uh, of a series of four videos that would discuss on process specification so in this video it is on uh, structured english yeah, which is one of the process specification method So we will be looking into uh, how to write structured English uh, and how uh, data dictionary uh, can be used uh, in writing the process specification. Okay, so basically what is a structured English? Yeah. A structured English is basically uh, will similarly look like an, how you write an algorithm. Okay. In the first part of the video, yeah, we have uh, we have seen an example of uh, uh, process uh, specification logic, uh, which is actually being written in using structured English. Okay. So when do you structure English? You use it when your process logic involves formulas, iteration, uh, and also simple. Uh, structured decision okay so you write like english statements yeah for uh, the logic of the process okay um, and advantages uh, uh, using structured english it can clarify the logic and relationship found in human languages and effective communication too whereby it can be taught to and understood by users in organization right so uh, we can see that it is uh, uh, it can easily understood yeah by anyone who look at the process at a process specification which is written in structured english okay so as as uh, mentioned before, yeah, structured English is very similar to algorithm. So if you are a computer science student and you have taken uh, like programming technique, uh, then I believe that you must be familiar with uh, what algorithm is. Eh? You know how an algorithm would look like. Okay, so... Uh, it is used to describe the logic process yeah, that involves formula, repetition, and simple structured decision. So as you can see here, yeah, you have a process, yeah, a log customer process, and you have um, and you on the left side, this is the uh, structured English, right? the logic of for the process log customer. So you can easily understand it. Yeah, we start with a a, a, a do, uh, and then read process, read product code. Begin if if code start with S, you do something. If code start with D, you do the next thing. If code start with D E, then you do the next thing. Okay, so you can if people can easily relate and understand uh, this uh, process. Yeah, the logic of the process to lock uh, locks customer order. So these are the guidelines yeah, of writing structured English. Ex yeah, the first one is express all logic in terms of sequential structures, decision structures, case structures, or iteration. Uh, then uh, use if, then, else do perform yeah use these keywords capitalize them yes yeah? so when you write structured english try to be uh, try to be uh, neat yeah in writing it yeah so keywords capitalize them and then the next thing is in then block statements to show their hierarchy or nesting clearly yeah underline words or phrases that have been defined in a data dictionary. 
clarify the logical statement. Okay, so these are among the, the tip or guide of writing structured English. Okay, in then, yeah, use uh, when you use keywords, capitalize them. Uh, when there are words or phrases that you define uh, in the data dictionary, yeah, the data flow, yeah, so underline them. So, so when one person read the structured English, they will be able to understand it easily. Okay, this is what I mentioned just now yeah, about structured English type, uh, sequential structure, decision structure, yeah, so I think you must be very, uh, you must be very, you must uh, know how to write this, yeah. Okay, so uh, on the last uh, part here, yeah, this is uh, when you have uh, for you to try out a problem. Okay, so checkpoint one. Yeah, you are given here. Yeah, we give you a problem. So why don't you try to write a structured English yeah, to represent this particular problem? This particular problem is about a person, Enche yeah, Ame, yeah, uh, in the process of reviewing his firm expense reimbursement policies with a new salesperson in his department. So uh, how can you write a structured English that represent these policies. Okay, so try this out. Yeah, produce a, 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 a algorithm. Yeah, or a structured English process specification to represent this. Yeah, uh, check your solution with your lecturer. Thank you.